Well, hello friends, it's Ty Frederick and Bowie from Broken Road Ranch, all about the good of the horse for the glory of God. Coming to you with a little training tip today. So today we're gonna to be talking about hobble breaking a horse. Okay, now there's some things that have led up to where we are now. If you look backwards in the videos, we've done a lot of work with the feet, uh, roping the feet, teaching to lead by the feet, desensitizing, all of those kinds of things. And one more thing that I haven't highlighted but that is going on is teaching a horse to uh, displace the hips. That's an important step before you actually go to uh, putting hobbles on them. We're just about to that point. That's the plan here today is to actually throw the hobbles on. Um, but I, I want to give the background so that y'all don't think you just go out in the, in, in, you know, in the pen one day and throw them on. Uh, it, you can do that. It doesn't always go particularly well for you. Um, so you get them desensitized to ropes on the legs, teach them to lead by the feet. That really helps a bunch. Another thing to teach them to do is to teach them to displace the hips. And we've talked about this in a video as well, uh, but it's just very simple. You look at that hip, you say hip, hip, hip. Swing the end of that rope if you need to. If you got a whip, you can tap the, that, that hip with the end of the whip. Hip, hip, just bend that nose towards you. Hip, 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 there you go. Teach those front feet <clears throat> to stay still and those hind feet <laughs> to move. Now that's important because when, uh, when they first experience the hobbles, they're gonna really fight and uh, they're gonna have a tendency, hip, 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 to feel really trapped. And so what we wanna teach them uh, when we do this is we wanna teach them that they can displace that hip and they don't have to feel trapped because while well, their front feet should remain stationary, their, their hinds can move and they can pivot. And then of course, once they start to, to not feel so trapped, they'll learn how to do the little jailbird walk um, and things like that. But for now, that really helps if you have the tool to be able to displace those hips um, so they don't feel trapped. So uh, without much further ado here, we're gonna, we're gonna start in on this, but I'm gonna tell you ahead of time in case it, in case it gets a little bit crazy. I'm going to tell you ahead of time a little bit of what's going to, going to happen. I'm going to put these on him. Okay, I don't expect any drama about that. Okay, and I'm going to start to displace the hips. Then uh, at some point he's going to bump into those hobbles. All right, and, and he's probably going to have a big reaction of some kind. I like to start him and keep him in hand on a long lead rope so that I can still get away and I can stay clear but they don't feel abandoned and I can give them some direction and keep them from immediately learning how to just lope off because some horses will do that. They'll just, boom, first time they ever try them, they're loping across the pin and you're standing there with your hat in your hand wondering what's next, okay? Uh, they, they can get themselves in a pretty bad way uh, in, that, in that case. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put these hobbles on him. We're gonna move the hips around. I'm gonna keep myself well clear and safe. Okay, and then once he experiences them and has a few reactions, I'm going to try to quiet his reactions down, teach him that he can displace those hips, and go from there. Okay, I like to use these figure eight style hobbles with a buckle. Um, I've just, I've found them, especially once they're broke in, I have found them to be, for me, the quickest solution for something to put on and take off. Um, I've tried a lot of different styles, and there's, I don't even, there's probably... Who knows how many styles there are. I've tried at least probably close to half a dozen. And these figure eight double, doubled over uh, Latigos are my personal favorite just because they're quick to get on and quick to get off. That can be the key. Nobody likes to spend a lot of time down here when, with a horse that is learning. It's not a ton of fun. Okay, now when you're, whenever you're putting these on, oh, you're gonna keep yourself in a defensible position, okay? So he's already had some had an experience here. He's already touched them, okay? I'm gonna see if I can pull that end all the way through. Ho, oh. there we go, okay? Now I'm gonna displace the hip. Hips, 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 hips. Hips, good boy. Okay, and there he's gonna have his first experience. Now what's he gonna do? 
Okay, he's thinking, he's processing. That's fine. All fine and good. He's probably going to chew on them. He processes that way. I'm going to go hip, 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 hip. Good boy. Okay, so he's immediately learning that he is not trapped. Okay, I'm in a, I'm in a safe and defensible position. Oh, would you stop? Would you stop, you bugger? <laughs> Him and chewing on things, okay? I'm gonna go the other side. Now I'm gonna do this very, very carefully. I'm gonna go out to the end of my lead rope where I'm more than a hop away, okay? And I'm just gonna pivot, see there? Okay, and if he, if he starts to pivot toward me, ho, oh, then I'm gonna speed up. Hip, 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 good boy, ho. Oh. Okay, the big thing you want to watch out for here is <clears throat> for them, sometimes they get to, to really raring up and lunging forward, and you do not want to be in front of wherever they happen to rear up and lunge forward. So always a defensible position over here by the shoulder. That's really important. And if they pivot, you move with them, okay? Do not let them get ahead of you, even if that means that you have to defend yourself like I just did, okay? You don't want them hopping down on top of you. Hip, 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 good man. Hip, 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 good man. Hip, 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 good man. Now he's doing really, really well. He's had some reactions, but he's not having any big reactions. Okay, he's doing really well. I'm gonna bump his nose away from me there so that I can stay ahead of him. Okay, and sometimes you'll sometimes you'll get in this and you'll be in like a like you're dancing. You'll be on a you know you'll just be circle after circle after circle after circle, and that's fine. And occasionally it happens where if you need to change sides of the horse, sometimes it happens where you can't. They won't let you go in front of them. Uh, you know, and like I said, if you do go in front of them, well in front of them, what you can do in that situation is I'll just toss the rope to the other side, uh, and and go around behind or make a big wide loop or whatever you got to do. Just got to be very careful when you're in close proximity in this situation because it can change very quickly. Hip, hip. Okay, if he's going to be like this where he starts to starts to not process, he starts to go go somewhere else mentally, then I'm going to encourage him back to the moment. Ho. Good boy. Whoa. Okay, the beauty of, <clears throat> of hobble break and look at him licking and chewing, he's doing real good, is that it, you know, you, you can really help to enforce paw and scratch, then it is its own punishment. Essentially, they're kind of bumping themselves in the leg, okay? And, and it just forces them to have to stay stationary and not paw and be super impatient. And it's just a wonderful tool. Oh, it's also really stinking handy in the back country. Uh, you get a horse that's really solid in the hobbles and you don't have to be looking for the right tree or the right post or whatever the crazy weird situation that you're trying to find may be. You can slap a pair of hobbles on them, hips, 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 and walk away. And boy, you can't beat that.